I'm Ange Barry, the CEO of the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation, and I'd like to welcome you to the Kitchen Garden Classroom. The Kitchen Garden Classroom is a vibrant space where we're welcoming all early learning, primary and secondary schools across Australia, where you can access hundreds of child-friendly recipes and menus, resources for your centre or your school to show you how to create your kitchen and garden spaces and how to deliver the program. The role of the Kitchen Garden Foundation is to support you to introduce your vegetable food education program. We're there at the end of the phone, we're there on the email, we write integrated curriculum resources so not only do your children learn how to grow food and to sit down and eat that food, they also bring in their maths, literacy, science, history and so on into very active and enjoyable spaces and also back in the classroom springboarding off the exciting topics that have happened during their kitchen garden experience. The Kitchen Garden Foundation has developed e-learning training in addition to our face-to-face -face activities that happen across Australia in our capital cities. The e-learning experience is accessible at your pace, at your time. The face-to-face -face sessions give a great opportunity to come together with peers who are going through the same experience and to build terrific networks. My name's Joanne, I'm the kindergarten teacher at Milestone Childcare and Preschool and the age range here is from six weeks to five years old. I uh, teach the four to five year olds. Um, we've been gardening at Milestone here for a few years now and our uh, garden boxes have been flourishing in the past. Um, the younger children also have gardens in their area and they like to do gardening as well. For early years educators, they will be able to access in our Kitchen Garden Classroom membership many activities which reflect a hands-on and seasonal approach to food education, which link to the five outcomes in the early years learning framework. For primary schools and educators uh, in the primary years joining the Kitchen Garden Classroom, not only will you be able to look at the work and success being had by the 800 odd Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Program schools, but you'll also be able to access all their learnings through hundreds of recipes, menus, integrated curriculum resources, how-to fact sheets on creating your own kitchen and garden space at a very affordable level. Uh, you'll also be able to participate in a conversation with those schools so you can directly connect with your peers and ask for their help or experience as well as asking the team at the foundation. We've just joined the kitchen garden a couple of months ago and we've been working in the garden but never had a set program so we've just signed up in the last couple of months. Well at the moment we're starting off just because we haven't got a lot of stuff in the garden but just the main ingredient like today we'll be using the spinach from the garden but hopefully we'll be able to use a lot more different produce that we've grown. If you can see them today they're completely different outside, they're so excited and they love doing hands on things and being showing that they'll actually need it in the real life not just they're learning it for a reason and there's a purpose behind what they're learning. The Shared Table is our online learning community of 1,600 plus educators all spread across Australia, talking to each other, sharing their experiences at their schools, photographs, menus and recipes, classroom activities, kitchen and garden activities. And the concept behind the Shared Table is we feel that if we connect people who are going through a similar learning experience themselves, then we will help speed up the sharing of knowledge to educators across Australia around pleasurable food education. It's a very dynamic space, it's very visual, and it's great fun to participate in. For many years now, secondary schools have contacted the foundation asking if there's some way that they can participate in this kind of program. And we've now decided that the kitchen garden classroom should be available to secondary schools. We've got a lot to learn about the secondary sector, but we know that we will learn with our members. 
So we've written resources that would cater to the early secondary school years of set year seven and eight that could be integrated across the curriculum. But in addition, we have information and units that could be used in the VET program or even in the VCAL program. So we look forward to working in that space. We know there are many kitchen garden graduates who are in secondary schools across Australia who are very keen to continue their experience and there are many schools who are very keen to give that to them. Hi, I'm Laura Blackson. I'm the Free Technology Coordinator at Cranbourne East Secondary College. With the developing free technology curriculum, we decided that we wanted to incorporate a community garden into the curriculum to give real life experiences to our students about sustainability and seasonality. What we wanted to use the garden for was to, like I said, to create a real life situation. So for students to actually have a hands on experience. So they learn the theory in the classroom and then they apply it in the garden. I think that in the day and age that we live in, um, looking at the importance of understanding food miles, sustainability, seasonality and even climate change as well too, it's important that our, our students have a clear understanding rather than just looking at a textbook and understanding what's happening to be able to actually go out and work with the garden as well too. I think that that creates some extra importance to why we do need to learn about these issues and also as well too it's important that kids actually do take responsibility and by doing that taking ownership of creating sustainable plants that can be used in our kitchen later on too. As the Free Tech Coordinator, our huge part of our curriculum is looking at healthy eating and as a nutritionist as well too, um, I understand the importance that we are going through I guess an obesity epidemic at the moment and I think that it's important that kids actually learn what's in our food and what's the difference between clean living and eating compared to processed foods. And also understanding a lot of kids seem to have the perception of that if you eat healthy it's a lot more expensive. So I think by integrating the curriculum and working with numeracy as well too, students are able to understand that it's actually more expensive to eat processed foods and junk foods. I think it's important that all teachers do have networks. I think it's important that we bounce ideas off each other. And I think especially for me, when I was the only food tech teacher starting, it was important that I had people to help me, to support me as well too. And especially the people that are available to talk to as part of the kitchen garden classroom network, they're also experts in this industry as well too. So you know that you are getting the right information from them and it just helps when you're creating curriculum. Join the Kitchen Garden Classroom. The Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation invites all Australian students to get involved in growing, harvesting, preparing and sharing their own fresh, sensational, delicious food. Join the Kitchen Garden.